Colombia has had 50 years of fighting. It is the world's largest producer of cocaine. Around 220,000 people have been killed, many at the hands of the drug cartels. Paramilitaries and guerrilla groups have been fighting over the drug trade. Now Colombians want an end to the war on drugs. Well, obviously I've had more time on my hands since the election last year. And one of the things I've always wanted to explore more fully is the, is the global debate on drugs. And there's no better place to understand the problem than countries like Colombia. Because I think many people now know and accept that the war on drugs hasn't worked. And that's why I'm off tonight to visit Colombia. I'm visiting Colombia because it's a country that we can learn from. It's a place that knows better than anywhere else how organised crime controls the drug trade. I'm going to talk to its president to discuss whether regulating and legalising drugs is a better way forward. OK, do you want to put it in? Nick, go to the other side, please. You okay, guys? Yeah. Yes, perfect. Okay. Yeah. This is your first time in Medellin, right? First time in Medellin, yeah. Okay. Medellin was where the original narco traffickers operated with such ruthless efficiency. It was home to the infamous Pablo Escobar, who controlled a vast criminal network that extended across Colombia and reached into many other countries. At one point, he was the sixth richest man in the world and supplied 80% of America's cocaine. Hola, en casa. No, lo siento el domingo. The new mayor of Medellin has only just been elected, but he remembers the days of Escobar's rule. Dos años más antes de la muerte de Pablo Escobar. Nosotros llegamos a tener 381 homicidios por cada 100,000 habitantes. ¿Cuántos? 381 homicidios. ¿Para cuántos? Para cada por cada 100,000 habitantes. O sea, nosotros más más alta alta nadie ha vivido eso. La corrupción, sí, el, estado, sí. el dinero del narcotráfico, cómo fue penetrando todas las esferas de la sociedad, las instituciones. Now Pablo Escobar is dead. His sister, Luz Maria Escobar, still lives in Medellín, but in a humble way she tries to keep a low profile. It's no longer good to have the name Escobar. Siempre he tenido en las noches una oración por ellos. Ojalá la vida me diera la oportunidad de, de poder ayudar en muchas cosas. No solamente a Colombia, al mundo entero. Corte, por favor. Préstame los clines, luces. But Luz María thinks the death of her brother didn't lead to the end of the problem. Desafortunadamente, tristemente, el flagelo del narcotráfico sigue en nuestro país. Mm. Está mejor, está mejor, ¿no? eh, Pues sí, o sea, mm. narcotráfico ahí hay en Colombia y en todo el mundo, porque el mundo, ya sí. es un flagelo universal, mm. que desafortunadamente no, he, no se ha podido arraigar, quitar. There is still crime in Colombia and its link to drugs remains strong. The Colombian government has tried to address many of the security issues. They were helped by $16 billion of US support. And they also believe that cocaine and its use could be eradicated by aerial spraying huge swathes of the coca plant that is needed to make the drug. It didn't work. Colombia remains the number one producer of cocaine in the world, and with it, the crime gangs persist. Hola. Soy Nick Clay. Hola. Fabiola is a coca farm. She just wants to grow coca, but not for cocaine. Ya pasaron? Pase, por favor. Dice la hoja de coca. Entonces es la hoja de coca, ¿no? Sí, sí. Esto no es de 
desde antes de Cristo está la hoja de coca. Entonces, uh, producing como, coca from you know the days before Christ. Hay plantas dulces, hay plantas amargas mm. y hay plantas medias. Sí. neutrales uh, eh, entonces ella está presente para, para los escenarios espirituales de todas las formas The aerial spraying was finally halted in October last year but this method in the war on drugs had already proved destructive to many ordinary Colombians Los químicos que van a llevar a hacer la producción de si usted mira cuál es no, no es la planta misma no es la plata misma, son otros componentes que traen para ponerle ahí. ¿Y quién estuvo fumigando en el Plan Colombia? En lo, en nuestra capa vegetal hoy en Colombia, devastada, vuelta a nada, con, con una capa social también destruida. I think he's here. I'd like to go and see him. I had breakfast with Cesar Gaviria, who was Colombia's president in the 1990s at the height of the narco traffickers' powers. He survived many assassination attempts and some of his family members were murdered. But it was under his watch that Pablo Escobar was killed and he had some interesting ideas about drugs. Colombia is not a, a security problem. I mean, we have improved dramatically. But even with that, security in cities, no homicide, but security, is still a huge problem. And the reason for that is local consumption of drugs, yeah. not international traffic, ah, but see. local consumption. So if you, if that you, is totally well documented. Right. So if you, your, your view is if you, if you decriminalize that, that then helps the security yeah. issue in the city. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. You have to, of course. if these people, I mean, these people that commit these petty crimes, yeah. always do it by drugs. In fact, Colombia has gone further than the UK towards decriminalizing drugs, a lesson we could learn from. In the UK, many people are forced to steal to fund their drug habit because both drug dealing and drug use are illegal. In Colombia, possession of small amounts is legal. I was fascinated to visit a government-funded clinic that actually tests people's drugs to prove they don't contain dangerous chemicals. Y nosotros salimos a los bares, nosotros salimos a los festivales. Hace 15 días tuvimos un festival underground de unas 3500 personas donde analizamos. Bueno, eso se trata. Puede rápidamente mostrarme cómo Sí, claro, mira, esto es como un pequeño museo que tenemos de sustancias. Muchas personas no han tenido nunca una no han tenido nunca una un, un contacto con las sustancias. Esto es marihuana, esto es bazuco, lo que llamamos como el hijo calavera del Y bueno, ya si quieres conocer como el, el programa de, de análisis. Yo le tomo la muestra, Ajá. le tomo un par de datos básicos y se lo paso al químico y él ahí, ahí hace eh. el análisis y le dice, le sí, da sí, resultados. Sí, sí. Es, es confidencial, sí. totalmente anónimo, dura cinco minutos sí. el análisis y no tiene sí. ningún valor. Sí. Entonces, yo le recibo la muestra. Eh, le... Después del análisis veis que hay, hay un problema. Se saca una alerta. ¿Una alerta a quién? Por las redes sociales, bueno, por varios medios. No comprar y no comprar y nada. Ah, bueno, Exacto. Bueno, Entonces, ya yo aquí ¿no? se lo paso acá sí. al químico. With Colombia now making progress in undermining the cartels, Medellín is now a different place. It was recently voted one of the best cities to live in in Latin America. So it really is a fantastic illustration of how, even in a very, very poor part of Latin America, things can change. And the grip, the, the terrible, deadly grip of kind of narco trafficking and narco criminality does eventually end. President Santos is one of the few world leaders that is pushing for the world to change its approach to drugs. Yo tengo una reunión con el presidente. Doctor Nick Lane. Sí, sí, sí. And he's actively considering legalizing and regulating drugs. I'm here to encourage him not to back down. <laughs> If a country like this, which has more experience and made more sacrifices in dealing with drugs, says it's time to try a new approach, I think we should listen very hard. So I think 
you know, so we compared notes about what we will do, or more precisely what he might do, um, if he's in New York and he finds that the that the, uh, the what the di diplomats have cooked up isn't any good.